Sunandi. He's Mrs. Brown. to be with him at all at all at all but the thing is the thing is he's running from taking his responsibility behind the actions that he's had he's not taking responsibility for the decisions that he's made so I'm in a process of getting him served personally from me personally so that he can stay the fuck away from me I got all the evidence that I need to prove that this nigga is delusional deranged unstable mentally and I'm gonna do everything that I can to protect myself and my daughter because what I won't allow to happen is for someone to be on social media and threaten to kill me and threaten to kidnap my child when in fact that's not a healthy situation so what I'm gonna need y'all help is to find this nigga oh yes let me show you let me show you let me show you Y'all think I'm playing. You think this is entertainment? This is real life. This is real life. Real life. Real, real life. Before that, we do this. Show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all something. You think I'm playing? I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. The hearing is set for January 21st at 9.30 a.m. Think I'm playing? See, you're not about to threaten to kill me. Restraining order. Yeah. 
these are the papers for the restraining order. I am not, I am not playing. So, if anybody knows Nature Boy's whereabouts, or anybody know what part of the jungle he's in, she hit my DM. Let me know. So, I can get him served because what we not gonna do is play these games no more. Period. Period. Dud. Okay. So today I'm I'm actually having a really good day today. I've had actually had a very good week. You know, um, I don't care to delete comments and talk to people back and forth and everything like that because this is my personal life. This is my story. This is my journey. And um, things people say all night could be very hurtful because they don't know all the details and they're only looking at it from one perspective. But it is what it is. It just is what it is with those people. But for all the people out there who support me, who have texted me, who have sent me a... Um, a text message to my DM to, su to support me and congratulate me. Thank you for always having my back, even when I was tripping. Like, nigga, I was tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like, people, people, you know, like to throw, like to say stuff about me and judge my character and everything. But those people that's over there, just like myself, were really going through something. We're really going through something and those people need help mentally. They need help. And I wanna say this. While while everybody is looking at at me as um some type of person who's weak minded or don't have any type of common sense or don't know myself or anything like that. In the relationship with Nature Boy was very abusive, physically abusive. Many occasions, it got physically abusive. And yes, I subjected myself to that circumstance. Yes, I take full responsibility for the actions and for the decisions that I've made on my journey. I have to live with that. <clears throat> when it came to the physical abuse, the reason why it was so bad was because I always stood up for myself. This is why you see me in all of the videos either fighting or or speaking out what I wanted to speak out and then later getting into a fight because I spoke up for myself. I always spoke up for myself. So he didn't like that. He couldn't take that. He couldn't he couldn't take the, the heat. So he had to regain control and, and hit me because he had no other power over me but his physical being. So, to any woman out there who is in a relationship with a man and he is physically abusing you because you are merely expressing to him how you feel about a circumstance and then he calls you a demon or calls you any type of thing that's lower than less than what you are. You don't deserve to be in that type of relationship or even allow somebody to treat you like that or even allow people to come into your life with that type of behavior. Because what's, what's gonna happen is you're gonna create a, a web of, 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 of drama, of chaos for yourself that you're not gonna know how to untangle yourself because it's just too much going on. You got a child, you got two children, you got this, you got that, you got, and there's so much that's attached to it. So, if you're a woman, this is just, you know, closing it out and everything. If you're a woman, don't let nobody, don't let, don't, don't, don't let nobody be treating you any type of way. And, and I want to say this, because people like, Nature Boy has, I personally feel like Nature Boy creates situationships so that he can have some type of show 
real nigga moment on social media so he can hurry up and record it so he can get views and all of this extra stuff so people could be tuned into him so more people could watch him when in carbonation off of the camera there's a lot of unseen shit that goes on there that a lot of people i mean you know but then you really it's like it's like a it's like a you know but then it's like it get deeper i got more information about what really goes on in carbonation behind closed doors and one of the things that nature boy did to me there was use me against myself he would set up shit just for instance I don't know if anybody remember that uh, live that he did when I was sitting on the floor with Eliana on the yoga mat and he thought that I was flirting with True or True was flirting with me or something. And he took that situation and made it into something else. And I'm sitting there with his child and I'm like, you got to be the most dumbest motherfucker ever. So I get up and I walk away. And every time I like to walk up, walk up and get out of Nature Boy face because... I'm not going to allow him to scream at me and I'm not going to allow him to treat me any type of way or say anything to me any type of way. He gets angry. And then the reason why you see a whole bunch of videos of me fighting is because I'm going to defend myself from people who are trying to harm me. So every every video you've seen of me punching a, a bitch Every video you seen of me fighting, every every video you seen of me talking back or snapping back or saying something was me protecting myself. Because at the end of the day, when a man raises his hand to a, a woman that has never disrespected him, that 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 goes beyond some evil evil shit i never ever ever once had any type of ill intent towards nature boy never ever i supported him the whole time while he got me online sucking dick and fighting there's videos of me out there supporting him riding for him being down for him like on some real crazy type shit. Like on some real crazy shit. But all you got to say and do. Is post me on social media. Down bad. Or trying to make it seem like I'm a down bad person. Or I'm just no good. Hateful. Angry. Like come on. Like. You can miss me. With all. You can miss me with all of the bullshit. And I don't care. If people think I'm lying or I don't give a fuck what you got to say. Because guess what? You wasn't there with the nigga. I bet if you go over there with Nature Boy, your stupid ass will probably be bowing down to him, kissing his feet too. Because what people don't realize is that's some real, real mental demonic shit that's going on over there. This is real life. This is not a TV show. This is not something we just recording just to fucking record. No, like, this shit is real. This shit is real. This is my life. And while everybody's making fun of it and trying to pick it apart, they don't realize that their, their, their sister or their brother or their child, their daughter could be in the same situation as me. And they making fun of me. And they trying to say, oh, you did this before. You went back and forth. You went back and forth. How many women in the room been in a relationship with a man and women still in a relationship with a man that's toxic for them and they keep going back and forth? As a young woman sit, sitting before you at 23, stop. Stop going back and forth. This is the shit that I have to tell myself as a young woman. Because guess what? All of the shit that happened this last time around when I went and I came back, man, Nature Boy, I'm disgusted. I'm truly disgusted. He's a degree, uh, you know, I'm going to just keep those words to myself, but I'm disgusted. And it's unfair to the people who's around him because he's uh, abusing and misusing and manipulating and torturing those people spiritually.
and he doesn't even realize it because he's in a, a fucking paradigm of delusion confusion himself so he can't feel the people around him he can't even feel himself he has no feelings he has no heart he has no good intent so the last time you know i went back and all of that stuff you know he really did the he really he really did the number you know with me not wanting to fuck with him let me tell you how you ready <laughs> Let me tell you how. Right? So, I went back the last time. The reason why I went back, I wasn't going to fuck with him. I wasn't even going to fuck with him, y'all. I promise. I wasn't. The last time I went back. And so, he calls me, right? Mind you, I blocked him from everything on my page and stuff like that. Yeah, I, and I just want to say this before I start. In the beginning stages, um, when I first went to Carbonation, I wasn't attracted to him like that. Like, to be with him. You know, and I've expressed this many a times to him. Down the line, when everything started panning out, I didn't want to be with Omek no more. Long story short, you know, me and Nature Boy got together. When we got together, it was very romantic. Everybody's seen the romant romanticism that Nature Boy bestowed upon me when I was in his presence. And I didn't deserve anything less than that because of who I am. Period. Look, I mean, look, I'm me. So, as time went on, he started doing stuff behind my, well, he been doing shit behind my back, but I just didn't know about it. This was in Belize. You know, when the whole Sheba shit went down and all of that stuff, that was, you know, well, this was way... He was dealing with women way before that. And it's the thing. I was okay with him being polygamous. I just didn't agree with how he was doing it. I didn't agree with how he was going about doing it. Because he's fucking trifling and dirty and nasty. That shit is dirty and nasty and trifling. The way he carries himself and, he, and the way he carries polygamy. So... You know, I was in love with him at that point of time in my journey. I was. I supported him wholeheartedly as a woman. And I feel like if the man is in my life, he, I deem him to be my husband. I'm going to support him. And that's exactly what I did. Slowly but surely, coming to realization that this nigga was talking to other women behind my back. Talking about how these women is they, his queen. And how I'm a little girl. And how he need a fucking woman and all of this stuff. And I'm looking like, my nigga. If you feel like you need another woman, why are you with why are you with me? If you feel like I'm a little girl, why are you with me? Why are you with the little girl? Why are you with little girls if you say you need a woman? That's why niggas think you a fucking pedophile. And if you if and, and, and if you really look deep into it, I think you a fucking pedophile on some real shit. Because these are young girls. That you're exploiting and using and manipulating for your own benefit. These girls are, don't have a lot of experience. Just like myself. I don't. I didn't have a lot of experience when I came to you. Yet you get online making videos aiming at the youth. Aiming at these little girls. Aiming at these little boys. Talking about some... Y'all need a spiritual teacher. Y'all need an OG to guide you. You need this. You need that. Y'all need to listen to your OG. Man, go shut the fuck up. Oh, gee, follow who? Follow you? Into what? Destruction? Into hell? Because that's where you at? That's where all those people at? You talk about some, I'm in my lower self. No, bitch, you are in your lower self. Like, straight like that. Like, you literally go, go country hopping from place to place. And you think that that's normal. You think that's conscious. You think that that's God-like. You think that that's pure. When you running from your responsibilities... When you running from your actions that, that, that you've, the decisions that you made and the people you hurt, but you running, come on now. Is you stupid or dumb? Every woman you get with, you hurt them. Every woman you get with, they leave you. Every woman you get with, they don't want to be with you. They're absolutely disgusted with your ass. And if there's a woman out there who is not disgusted with you, who want to be with you, she just as disgusting as your ass. You trifling ass nigga. 
trifling dirty ass nigga bitch ass nigga and i want you to i want you to i want you i want you to keep putting out those death threats to me come on i want you to keep putting out those death threats to me come on say it again say it again speak that shit into existence if you want to my nigga and get hurt on some other aquarius capricorn type shit because i'm not about to keep playing like this shit is not affecting my life I'm not about to be pushed away into this mental prison because this nigga want to do fuck shit. I don't give a fuck what was done, what was said, what I said. Some of the shit I said was a lie. But guess what? I could sit before you today and admit what I was wrong and understand the psychology of my mind to, for the even effect or, or the reason why I even would do some shit like that or say some shit like that because I love your stupid ass. And I was throwing myself under the bus because I loved you, but not no more. I'm not about to be doing stuff for you at the expense of my emotions, at the expense of my my spirituality, at the expense of my well-being. And people could think that, you know, I need to focus and heal. This nigga needs to hear this. He needs to hear what the fuck I got to say. He needs to hear it from somebody. Because guess what? He's going to continue to keep hurting people, hurting people, hurting people, hurting people, hurting people. Period. And people say love don't turn off. Yes, the fuck it do. When a motherfucker is, is doing something to you over and over and over. And it's abuse and it's torturous and you want to leave. Yeah, exactly. That shit is no more. She got an expiration date, remember? Well, my shit is on E. Fuck, that shit been way past E. So, when I went back, I, and I want to share this with y'all because I want y'all to know. I want y'all to be informed of why I need y'all help to get his address so that I can get him served the restraining order papers and the divorce papers. And if he don't come with the address or if y'all don't come with the address... I already got a solution to that problem. I'm going to find you, nigga. I'm going to find you. And I'm going to serve you. Period. You don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. Because you done fucked up way too much. Like, way too much. Like, all of the women before me, all of the women after me, you fucking over them. And you thinking that shit is cool. And you got them thinking that that shit is cool, but it ain't. Cause you making yourself look stupider and stupider online. Why you putting your why you putting the woman of your chiefest of your carbonation, the woman who you say you love the most, who got your baby girl, your princess, why you putting her out here throwing her under the bus on social media? How you think that make you look? You fuck nigga. You nasty, dirty, dumb, filthy, dirty dick nigga. Fuck anything walking ass nigga. Nasty trifling, don't know how to rationalize shit ass nigga. You disloyal, disloyal bitch made nigga. That's what the fuck you are. And I'm not even, I'm not even like doing that to provoke no spirits and nothing like that. But I, he need to hear this. He needs to hear this. He for me, cause you hit me way too many times for me to be a woman, son. Like you want to talk about a little nigga inside of me? Okay, okay. Okay, we're going to see about that little nigga inside of me because guess what? I don't have to use my strength to, 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 you know what I'm saying? I got a mind and that's what the fuck you don't realize because you want me to be somebody who you want me to be not realizing that I'm somebody other than who you think I am. Next week, I'll be apologizing. Yeah, to my mama and my daddy, to my brothers and my sisters, to my family, to my friends, because I allowed this nigga to separate me from the people who actually love me. From the people who actually want to see me do great in life. Yeah, apologizing to my family. Two-faced it. You could call me two-faced that I was two-faced in the past. Because I was trying to protect Nature Boy because I loved him. I saw potential in our relationship for, and I wanted our family to stay together for at least our daughter. So I did everything that I could to mend the situation and make it better or try to at least, you know, make the best decision that I knew how to make in that moment. But guess what? Any decision that I made in my past, whether you call me two-faced or whatever, 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 I could own up to my shit. You could put a video on right now and, and, and play that shit back to back. I don't care. 
go get whatever, whatever video, go get whatever video. And I could tell you exactly what was going on in that moment, exactly what was going on in that moment. So nobody could come for me. You can't come for me. Go, go come for yourself. Because at the end of the day, you worried about me so hard and, and trying to understand why I make the decisions that I make when your life ain't even together. You watching me on social media and you need to be getting your shit together. Like, for real. While I'm getting my shit together, you should be getting your shit together too. Like, man, I see this girl. I'm inspired. Because at least she's trying to make the right decision in the, in, in the right direction. At least she's trying. So, the last time I had went back to car to carbonation, the reason why I went back because me and Nature Boy, I never blocked him from nothing. So he had got in touch with me, and um, I had talked to him in a couple months. So we talking, we talking. I'm thinking he just want to see Ellie, blah 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 blah. Later, later, later down the line, you know, maybe later, like later that day or whatever, he hits me with the I'ma just be monogamous. I'm going to only be with you. I'm not going to be with the women no more. That's when he gave the women away. You know what I'm saying? My list, Every time I went back was because this nigga said he was going to be monogamous with me to keep our family together. So when I went back the last time, I didn't know this nigga was talking to all of the women behind my back. Fucking all of the women behind my back. Making it seem like he monogamous with me, but lying to me, telling the other women... Oh, yeah, y'all just support her and be patient and stuff like that so that the women, uh, you know, so that she could get used to it so she could ex start to accept y'all. And these women was tripping the fuck out because they wanted some dick, so now they, they tripping. You feel me? Like on some real whole type shit. All of, like, not all of them, but majority of them, most of them. So we at the park one day, and we monogamous. Me and Nature Boy, we at the park one day. And we monogamous. So all of the all of the rest of the tribe out there at the park with us, 4th of July, he start flirting with the women. I'm looking like, you gonna disrespect me and Eliana like right in our face, my nigga? That's toe up. You toe up, son. So I just didn't say nothing to him. That, I, I was, over, way before that moment, I was over it. Like, I was over, I was over that moment. Uh, You know, been over him that in during that moment. So... I ain't say nothing to him. He gets, he's drunk, by the way. He gets mad because I'm not wanting to express to him how I feel. Because I done talked to you about this already. Like, now I'm about to go. Like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be with you. Like, I don't want to be here. So, <clears throat> he gets mad. I'm constantly trying to express, express to him how I feel. He trying to tell me how I'm feeling. So, now we arguing and shit like that. So this nigga starts hitting me and he tells the men and the women to make a circle around me. And these niggas made a circle around me and watched this nigga beat me in the middle of the circle for a very long time because I didn't want my, I didn't want to, uh, bow down to him. Mind you, like I said, every, every video you see of me on some fuck shit that nature boy put out was because I was protecting myself and I was standing up for myself. Now, if I wasn't doing none of that shit, then I would still be at Carbonation, being a docile, dumb, brainless, spineless motherfucker who just listened to some shit that a, that a nigga say. Because he ain't handsome. He was handsome, but he ain't handsome no more. Nigga, you is fell all the way the fuck off, my nigga. Like, all the way the fuck off. You tripping, son. Like, you really are... On a whole nother vibe. Like, you you not the same person you was no more. You not the same person you was no more. And then stop trying to act like you're trying to levitate and float all with the habijis and all that. Like, go sit the fuck down somewhere. Like, you really need to stop. Because you making yourself look bad out here while you continuing to have children. With, with women who you not going to be with. And after... And after... You know, he beat me and shit like that. You know, Sybil, she took care of me. She made me a bath and everything. This nigga didn't give a fuck. Like, he didn't, he didn't care. Like, only thing he wanted to do was aid the symptom and romance me back into bullshit. That's the only thing he wanted to do. And that's exactly what he did. And I let him because I was stupid. 
at that point in time. So after a while, we start traveling. He starts talking about some, I want this wife, I want that wife, because these bitches tripping because they want to be with him and they don't want to be with those other niggas. None of those women want to be with those other niggas over there. I don't give a fuck how much you said, Zoka said, Solar, and all this extra shit. She don't want to be with him. None of them women don't want to be with none of them niggas because all them niggas is weak and little boys. They, they, they looking up to you, my nigga. You they chief. Another man is bowing down to you like on some uh, lower than a servant type shit. Ain't no woman going to want no man that can't stand up for yourself, don't got no backbone, don't know what the fuck. Yeah. Like, come on. Ain't no real woman going to want no shit like that. And ain't no real man going to allow men, other men, to, to, to bow down to him the way that you want those niggas to bow down to you. That's not how respect is given in the street. You talk about you a real nigga. I know real niggas. I just met a couple real niggas. <laughs> you think you think you think just because you had said something or you put a video out of me or something gonna stop my shine or gonna stop me from expressing myself and being, you know, who I am? You said I sound hurt, but at the end of the day, that shit hurt me. This shit hurt me. We made a baby out of this. And this nigga is walking around like Eliana don't even exist. But he like to tell you, I'm bringing the black, breaking the black family up, doing all this fuck shit. When in actuality, he the one doing it. I ain't do nothing to this man. All I ever try to do is support this man. That's it. The only reason why he had me in the crown is because he felt that I was a virtuous woman. Because I was going to multiply his goddamn kingdom. But guess what? Every time I got him to be in a position where I can build the kingdom... He took it all away from himself because he wants something that's not pure. He wants to practice something that's not righteous. So he can never have nothing of value. He can never have nothing of shine. He can never have nothing of, of, of great wealth or abundance. This nigga is, 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 a, is a cockroach. He's a fucking cockroach of the conscious community. Squash this nigga. Somebody needs to squash this nigga. Because he's... he's Manipulating people's minds to believe some shit about him to fulfill his agenda. You could you could teach all of the knowledge you want online. You could say all of the knowledge that you want online. But when it starts to come to a point where you creating children from this shit. And you got people leaving their kids for this shit. I said to every woman over there in Copa Nation, I said, you think. That nature boy uh, ever allow me or want me to leave Eliana? No. So why are you over here letting him influence you to leave your child? You're not going to get no good blessings from leaving your seed. That child came through you for a reason. You're supposed to guide that child. Woman, go get your child. Go get your children. I don't give a fuck what happened. I don't care what circumstance you in. You're not supposed to leave your child for no nigga. You're not supposed to leave your child for no nigga. You're supposed to take care of your child. Period. You're not supposed to let nothing come between that bond, between you and that child. And that's what Nature Boy tried to do to me and Eliana. He tried to take our bond away. But guess what? It ain't happening. Because I won't allow it. Because I know that I deserve better. I know that Eliana deserves better. And that's what I'm going to give us. So... As time passing on, passing by, this nigga like, yeah, he separates the men and separates the women. He starts having sex with the women for two weeks straight. All sing Every single last one of us. Zoka, Sheba, Syrian, me, motherfucking, all of us, nigga, all of us at one point in time. Zoka, motherfucking, Efru, Aya, Malia, all us. Same house. With the children in the same house as the women. He fucking all of us. Two weeks straight. Talking about some, he want to build a a, a, a a divine bloodline. So he going to have all these women have his children so that he can start mating his children together. So that the children could start sleeping together. My nigga, what? What? The, when I tell you the whole time I was planting my exit. I was literally planning my exit. Because what had happened was every time... 
I would try to leave or show any type of energy toward leaving, he would take my documents and he would go hide that shit. And he would give it to a nigga like loyal. A motherfucker I'm never around. And a motherfucker he know I'm never gonna go around. Cause this nigga dirty. He always got lice. Every fucking time. I wouldn't be surprised if they got lice now. That's why I cut my hair. All, all on top of the fact that he kept pulling my shit every time I, you know, was trying to talk to him and he got angry because he felt like I disrespected him. Disrespecting Asia Boy is a whole different it's a whole different thing. You could just be explaining yourself and how you feel and this nigga think you being disrespectful because you're not saying what he wants you to say. So I cut that shit off. Fuck it. Fuck this hair. I don't give a fuck. This shit gonna grow back and this shit beautiful. So, you know, when he started talking about the children and shit, I'm like... I see where this is going. So I'm like, all right, cool. And, and and I'm not playing, bruh. If this nigga keep fucking with me, I'm going to get on this fucking live every single time and say more. I got more business. I'm going to just leave that with y'all. But I got more business. Stop fucking playing with me. I don't give a fuck what you got to say about me. I don't give a fuck what you got on me. Because ain't nothing going to stand and hold a candle towards me. Because that's not who I am. That's you, nigga. That's you, nigga. Man, look, I'm not about to raise my child in no environment like that. You got me all the way fucked up, bent, twisted like a mango mystic, whatever the fuck you want to say. You got me bent, son. I am not about to raise. When I when I had decided on my journey that I was going to have a child, I wanted my child to have a, a, a beautiful lifestyle. I wanted my child to live in nature. I wanted my child to be with her mother and her father and having... A relationship with her mother and her father and bettering herself and investing in her skills and her talents and making her be a, a beautiful person. This nigga want to turn Eliana into a demon. You got to be fucking e like stone cold evil to want to call unborn children demons when your ass is the one sitting up here doing all the fuck shit. That child ain't do nothing yet. That child don't even know nothing yet. And you calling the child a demon. Man, get the fuck out of here. You use the demon. Go sit your demonic ass down. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Talking about some You know, he every every chance he got, he like to he like to pit the other women against me and, and do this and do that. So all the women was jealous of me, low handed secretly. Like but pe but they try to make it seem like I was jealous of them. Jealous of what? Jealous of what, my nigga? Like, jealous of what? Jealous of what? I'm over here. I'm good. I'm good. I'm so good, son. And don't let me step out with my new boo. Don't let me step out with my new boo. Bitch. <laughs> Look, I'm just fucking with y'all. But for real, for real, though, I'm serious. Like, when I do get a man, don't let me step out my little blue, cause you gonna be hurt, my nigga. Like you really, I'm a, I'm a fucking, squ I'm a squash your ass, you roach of the conscious community, fucking roach. Keep, keep on, keep on playing with me, son. I swear to God, like I got people who can't find you, my nigga. Like I'm not kidding. Y'all think this is a game? Y'all think I'm playing? I put that on my daughter. I put that on Eliana. I got niggas to f go find this nigga right now. I'm not I'm not playing. I need that address. Give me that address. And I want this nigga to come on live again. I want him to come. And this ain't, this ain't even about a tit for tat or she said this or she said that. I just want y'all to know that I'm serious about this nigga leaving me the fuck alone. Period. Because what he wants to do is he wants to wipe me off of the face of the fucking earth and act like I never existed, which is not about to happen. And then... Um, keep putting himself out on social media to be this false prophet that he that he you know cl claims to be the Messiah of like whatever the fuck. Nah, I'm not about to let you kill my people, destroy my people. I'm the, the people that is. I'm not about to let you do that to my people. I'm gonna speak up for my people. I don't give a fuck. This is a spiritual warfare. This is a revolutionary, and you trying to take me off of the main platform that I could use to teach. 
Like I'm not about to I'm not about to be stagnant for you, nigga. Like I'm still growing. Like I'm growing. I'm actually smarter than you. So it is what it is. And you can say, man, I ain't making no threat because I ain't never threatened to kill nobody. I say I got I got people to find him. Find him. There's a difference. This nigga said, I wish I could kill you. This is the words Nature Boy said out of his mouth towards me. I wish I could kill you. I wish I could kill you. I wish, I, I wish you keep fucking playing with me and I'ma come get somebody to come find you. Alive, nigga. I don't, you don't gotta be on my radar on no hit list for me to, you know what I'm saying? Cause guess what? I got a brain. I got a brain. Niggas, he think I'm stupid. He wants me to be stupid. He think I, he think he, he think that I'm just this stupid ass girl, da -da -da -da, which I was at one point in time, but not wholeheartedly. Not wholeheartedly. And you got the right one. The very right one. So, you know, I'm going to just leave y'all with that bit of information today. If this nigga come fucking with me again, I'm going to get back on. And I'm going to speak my shit. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Because guess what? I'm not about to let nobody drag me and have me out here looking down bad because of uh, how they feeling and because they can't have what they want and all of this extra stuff. You know what he said? Yeah, all the people who came and left, they gon' they gon' come and then they gon' go and then they gon' fade away. I'ma show you. I'ma show you about a fade away, nigga. I'ma show you I'ma show you what a real glow up look like and you gon' be hurt as fuck and I'ma be laughing at your stupid ass cause you don't deserve it. Period. But you do deserve exactly what you have, and that's exactly why you got what you got. You stupid, dirty, roach ass nigga. And I'm sorry, but you are a fucking roach, and I wish I could just step on your ass and smush you and fucking smear your guts on the fucking floor. Because you need to be stopped. You need to be stumped. You need to be pesticide. You pesticide looking ass nigga. Like on some real shit. And I'm saying that because y'all don't know how many times this man done put his hands on me. Y'all don't know how many times this nigga done lied to me. Y'all don't know half of the shit that I bit. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Bitch, talking about some. you made me. No, you didn't make me. You added to me the wisdom that I got not to fuck, not to, not to uh, attract fuck niggas and how not to fuck with a fuck nigga and how to have red flags on what a fuck nigga is. That's what you've added to me. I made you. When I stand next to you, you look better. Not the other way around. Actually, when I get around you, I look uglier. Go figure. So, at the end of the day, I'm going to hold my own shit down. And I'm not going to let nobody shut me up. I'm not going to let nobody push me down. I'm not going to let nobody put me in no corner. I'm not going to let nobody say nothing about me that ain't true. Uh, whatever. 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 I ain't do you shit. I ain't doing you shit. I ain't never asked to do you shit. And 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 the most thing of all, I never was do, was doing you dirty. I never meant to do you dirty. I never had no ill intent to do you dirty. So therefore, why is you coming for me the way you are? Why are you coming for me? And just just to put out there for everybody out there, while he online trying to make it seem like I'm a hoe, trying to make it seem like I'm this, I'm that, da da da, blah blah blah. I don't, I'm not fucking with no 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 nigga like that in no intimate relationship, whatever. I got friends, I got acquaintances, I got networkers, I got business partners. Yes, that's always gonna be a part of my life. But I'm not, I don't have no nigga. Like, I'm not with no nigga. And if I am with a nigga, he's potentially gonna be my husband and you gonna fucking cry if I ever step out with my nigga, my husband, whatever. You wanna see me down bad out here. You wanna see me with nothing. You wanna see me lonely. You wanna see me just miserable. And how is that a good characteristic for the Messiah to have? When the Messiah is supposed to be healing humanity. Nigga, you was a fake fraud ass New York ass nigga. You roach ass nigga. Coming from under the fucking light post. Go crawl your ass back under the fucking washer and dryer. You is weird, my nigga. You're weird. Nature boy, you're weird. And sometimes...
Sometimes I be trying to understand how the fuck. But I do understand why I started fucking with you. Because the shit you be saying, it, it, it's part of the truth. But it's not all of the truth. It's part of it. It's just part. It's like a little slitter. But other than that, my nigga, ain't nothing about you I like. There's nothing about you that I like. Not even down to the way you look. You you disgusting. Your ways make you very disgusting. Makes you look like a fucking demon. That's what you look like to me. Every time I look at your face, that's what you look like. And now that Eliana is only with me, she's starting to shed and get rid of that energy that you was trying to put on her. And you you won't allow you won't I won't allow you to put that energy on an innocent child. Especially my innocent child. Yeah, it's a velvet shirt I'm wearing. I'm not about to just let you sit up there and do anything or say anything. And and at the end of the day, the reason why I'm doing this video is because everybody is attached to me personally here on my social media. And, you know, whether you feel some type of way or not, you could get the fuck on. Like, shit, you could exit this live so quick. Like, it ain't even but a blink of a second. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, is that velvet? <laughs> but nah, like, for real, for real, I just wanted to share that information with y'all because there's some shit, some dirty-ass shit y'all don't know about this nigga. Like, he, he on, he on, he's a dirty-ass nigga, and the shit needs to be talked about. He needs to be stopped. Like, all of the people from Carbonation who left, who went and left, and or whatever... Shit, I'm thinking about doing a reunion with all of us and talking about the shit that went on there and, and getting shit involved, you know you know what I'm saying? Because that shit is dangerous. People be really be getting hurt. Like Malia, I, I don't know what the fuck he be doing to her now, but when I was there, when we when he separated the women and the men, he choked the shit out of her because she, uh, she wanted to leave because she wasn't getting no dick from him or something. And she wanted to leave because she wasn't getting no dick. And he was like, nah, you want to stay here and deal with yourself? You know how he is with the demons and all that. So she mad and shit. She storm out, but he choking her. He choking her, choking her, choking her. She on turning blue in the face. I'm like, she leave, she come back. Talking about, I'm sorry. Same shit I do. I'm sitting there on, in my escape route, in my escape plan, sitting there like, Damn, look at these women. Like, the you know what they, the story that they don't share of how good I was to them? They don't share those stories. They'll say, like, oh, you, Val was mean. She was this, not not was mean. She used to hit people. She used to argue, da 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 But why? why did you, have you ever asked the question why I was doing that? Because niggas was being sneaky, underhanded, lying, sneaky, and deceiving, being some roaches. Niggas was being roaches. And I had to squish them motherfuckers. Because ain't nobody gonna be doing no dirty shit towards me. Because I ain't never put out no bad intent or try to do no ill shit to nobody else. So while I was making this, you know, or it seemed like I didn't like you and all this shit. I didn't like what Nature Boy was doing. And your ass was condoning it. So I'm not gonna like you either. Like you sitting there, I'm telling you my feelings. I'm telling you how I feel. But you still coming for me. And you, you in my quote-unquote my house holding my child in my life as a woman i'm not about to be sitting up there pacifying some shit that i don't like the fuck but what they don't tell is when i when i was cordial with these hoes i i gave away a lot of my shit i made sure that these hoes had something because nature boy I'm, I apologize for calling them hoes. I apologize, but they acting like they acting like hoes. I was acting like a hoe when I was over there, so I'm just calling it for what it is. So I used to make sure that they had what they need because, you know, Nature Boy is not gonna provide for them like how they actually actually need. He might get them things here and there, but it ain't nothing that's truly sustainable. They're like, oh, nah, nah, can you ask Chief if we could get this and have this and have that? You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like... So...
you know, with all those factors being put in place, I need y'all help to find his address so that I can get him served these restraining order papers and these uh, divorce papers because I'm not about to keep him. I'm not, I don't. I want him far the fuck away from me. Period. Me and Eliana. I don't give a fuck. Daddy or not, get the fuck on. Kick rocks. Go go get squished by another motherfucker because you're not about to reside in my life no more and cause no more havoc and pain and stress and chaos and drama the way that you already have. I'm not allowing. I'm not allowing. I rebuke it. I deserve better. I deserve abundance. I deserve everything supreme coming in return. I deserve a beautiful man. I deserve a man who loves me. I deserve a man who's going to cherish me. Kiss me and hug me and hold me and make love to me and tell me that I'm beautiful and want the best for me and support me in that and give me what I need towards my aspirations and goals and 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 and, and still be a friend to me and still talk to me about the shit that's deep on my mind and still sit there and talk about the shit that I went through with you and support me through it all. I deserve that and I will have that when the time is right. So that's not nothing I'm focused on, but that's definitely something that every woman deserves when she's a righteous one, especially if she didn't mean no ill intent towards nobody and she never really did nothing, but she been fucked over. So with that being the topic at hand, I just want to save other information for another live. Maybe if this nigga won't act stupid on social media again. So until then... You know, let's help find the address that he had. And if not, if if he don't want, if if we can't find the address and he can't come up for the address, I got solutions for that too. Cause guess what? It's the age of Aquarius. I'm out. Peace.